Here's Big Perk here with us looking clean. Thank you for being with us, sir. Stephen mm -hmm. A, I'm going to start with you. Was it smart for KD to call out Eric Adams? Hell no, it was not. But before I get into the KD angle, let me say, Big Perk, it was good seeing you draped all over the TV screen yesterday at Kevin Garnett's retirement. Uh, I'm, I'm proud of my brother. I'm happy they retired Kevin Garnett's jersey. It was well-deserved. That's a, that as real as it gets when it comes to that brother KG. And I was very, very happy uh, to see all of y'all there in support of him. Now let me get back to KD. It wasn't wise. Let me say this. KD is not wrong with what he said. I want to be very clear. Kevin Durant was not wrong in terms of it makes no sense to have a policy, a mandate in place where uh, you play for the home team so you cannot play for the Brooklyn Nets because of the city mandate, but somebody from another team could come into the, to the arena and play against the Brooklyn Nets, mm -hmm. even if you're unvaccinated. The fans can come in, even though they're not vaccinated. Mm -hmm. Kyrie Irving can come into the stadium, to the arena, unvaccinated, but he can't play. It makes absolutely no sense. It's a stupid mandate, and Eric Adams, the mayor of New York, needs to get rid of it, even though he's not responsible for putting a mandate in place. That was under the de Blasio regime, the, a former mayor of New York, Eric Adams needs to get with the times and understand how idiotic this rule is at this particular moment in time. But the reason why I say it was not wise is because Eric Adams is a politician. How do you think it's going to work for you, Kevin Durant, if you're coming up on a podium after, after a post-game conference in which you dropped 53 points and you're going to call out the mayor, is that going to behoove him to move more expeditiously, more quickly, and capitulate to some of the things that you're calling him out? How has that worked? And even though we don't get into politics, let me get a little bit political here. How has it worked for this country when you see one side or the other ridiculing one another, calling each other names, calling folks out all the time, but then you got hands together and saying, would you do this for me? No wonder why the hell stuff ain't getting done. Because nobody's negotiating, nobody's compromising, nobody's talking with any degree of decorum or decency at one another. You button heads, but then claiming you're working together. That's not smart. That's what I mean. And I totally side with my man Mike Wilbon and Jalen Rose on NBA Countdown yesterday when they pointed that out. That's counterproductive. Kevin Durant, as Mike Wilbon so eloquently stated, Kevin Durant is entirely too intelligent, too smart, too accomplished, too business savvy to think that that would work with for him with a politician. If you're Eric Adams, and I hope he doesn't do this, if you're Eric Adams, it might entice you to delay even more from lifting the mandate just because they took the position of calling you out publicly. You, Kevin Durant, you could get the man's number. You work for an owner that you play under an owner that has a very close relationship with Eric Adams. I am sure if Kevin Durant wanted to have a private one-on-one -on -one conversation with Eric Adams, he could have pulled that off in a nanosecond. Why would you do that? That is just not smart, KP. That's where I'm coming from on the Kevin Durant thing. We'll get into Kyrie in a minute, okay? But for right now, talking about KD, that's where I'm at with it, KP. Well, Your well, turn. Well, first of all, I wanted to tell you, hey, I appreciate you seeing me, at, you know, in the garden last yeah, yeah, night. Yeah. Like Swag Goose say, I, I felt like a celebrity, okay? <laughs> I felt like, I felt like a celebrity you back are. in the garden. But look, Stephen A., here's why I got to disagree with you, Will Bourne, my brother Will Bourne, and Jay Rose. Y'all all, right. all are wrong. It's a okay. new day and age. And listen, you got to shine light on the people that are wrong. Because the mandate is not held privately, that's public. So why not call the mayor out publicly? See, I love what Kevin Durant went, went, went did after the post-game interview. You know why? Because it got me and you sitting up here talking about it today. So as long as you keep shining light on it publicly, then you holding the mayor accountable. Forget all that talking behind the scenes and all that. You don't think they probably didn't done that already? Nothing is getting done? My thing is, in today's world, when you have this 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 dumb 
rule that we all agree on that doesn't make any sense at all, then you got you to gotta call it out. And you got to call it out publicly. That's why I agree with Kevin Durant and what he did last night. Look, call it out, man. Bring it to the forefront. Let people talk about it. Let the mayor wake up with it on his mind. Let Eric Adams wake up and turn on his television and see us talking about it this morning so that way he could not lose train of thought that he need to get something done about this rule and get something done ASAP. Because Kyrie Irving deserves to be on the basketball court, period. That's all it comes down to. He deserves to be on the basketball court. And last but not least, what Kevin Durant has shown us is that he's probably, the, he probably he, as far as his brothers, he's the most loyal dude around the world. That's true. As far true. as when it comes down to protecting his brother. And that's all it was. he was doing. He was speaking up for his brother, Kyrie mm -hmm. Irving, that was sitting courtside yesterday okay. while he was sitting up there playing. Well, let me say this to you, KP. You'll have a point in my mind if Kevin Durant had that private conversation with the mayor. I don't know that to be true, but my thinking is, in, 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 in saying what I said, it's hard to imagine that he did, because if he did, there would have been nothing wrong with saying I spoke to the mayor and I would disagree with him. You know what? He needs to change this rule. This is nonsense. But if you didn't speak to him, you're Kevin Durant. You do have a level of clout that most people don't have. And what I'm saying is first order of business is trying to get it done, not calling them out. You can talk about calling folks out all you want to and bringing stuff to public, to public light. I get all of that. But when you talk about getting things done, that's not usually how things get done. Usually things get done when you've got your cachet and you wield it behind the scenes. Now, sometimes it calls for you to take it public, but not, can't, that can't be your initial step. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.